The prism cover test is an objective measurement and gold standard in measuring the deviation of the eye, which can be used for both manifest and latent strabismus. To perform the prism cover test, you will need an occluder, a prism bar, and an accommodative fixation target. These are the prisms that can be used to measure the size of the manifest or latent deviations. The horizontal bar for horizontal deviations, vertical prism bar for vertical deviations. For this video, we will be using a horizontal prism bar. The occluder is used to ensure the patient is dissociative during the test. The fixation target is used at near to ensure patient is accommodating. A Snellen chart can be also used as fixation for distance testing. Trizzy? Yeah. You want to come in? Hi, how are you? Hi, do you want to have a seat? Hi. So my name is Sam. I'll be your doctor for today. I'm just going to be performing some baseline examinations on you just to determine the size of your de deviation. Today's patient is Trizzy, who has a latent deviation. Before performing a prism cover test, a cover test must be done to determine the patient's deviation. This is the cover uncover component of the cover test. This is the alternating cover test. And from the cover test, you can see that Trizzy has an exophoria with rapid recovery. These are two different ways to record it. And now to measure the size of a deviation, we will now perform the prism cover test, also known as the PCT. So I'll just get you to hold this and just place it against my nose. And can you read down to the lowest line for me? A E L O N C T. The prism bar is placed in front of the deviating eye in manifest deviations. As our patient has a phoria, it can be placed in front of either eye. The PCT utilizes the alternating cover test and observing the eye movement under the prism. By using the prisms, the image of the fixated object is brought closer to the fovea, which leads to a decrease in eye movement. The strength of the prism is increased until no movement is seen, which is the null point. Here is the null point at 20 diopters. Going past the null point, we will see a reversal in eye movement, and that will confirm the correct prism strength. From our PCT, we have now determined the size of the deviation, which is 20 diopters base in. Ocular deviations are measured in prism diopters. When light passes through a prism, it is bent towards the base of the prism. One prism diopter displaces the image 1 cm at a distance of 1 m from the prism. By using prisms to displace light across the retina, the deviation may be reduced and eventually neutralized when no movement of the eyes occurs. There will be no movement of the eyes when the selected prism causes the image to fall on the fovea. The base of the prism is oriented accordance to the result of the cover test. For instance, the base should be base out for an ESO deviation, base in for an exo deviation, base down for a hyperdeviation, and base up for a hypodeviation. For example, in a right isotropia, the right fovea is turned temporarily. To focus the light on the right fovea, a prism that is base out is placed in front of the right eye. When recording the result obtained on PCT, it is important to note the fixation distance, the use of correction, the speed of recovery, and the prism strength and direction. The advantages of the PCT is that it is accurate to within two diopters. It provides a complete dissociation and it gives a comparison of the angle at different distances. Considerations when performing the PCT is to make sure that you are controlling accommodation with a detailed target, that high powered prisms may reduce clarity of vision, it is also difficult to measure combined horizontal and vertical deviations, it can be difficult with young or uncooperative patients. 
and test accuracy is limited to examiner's competency. Now we will demonstrate how the prison cover test will be performed on a patient. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> This is how we would record it. And now to measure her. Mm, no. <laughs> These are two ways to measure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The prison bar is placed in front of the deviating eye in the manifest deviant. 